Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video, I prepared a quick guide about brokers. This video would not examine and analyze all the notes one by one. If I try to do something like that, I think the video will take more than two hours. Because the video, which is developing day by day, has increased the surface area of the video world. That's why I will answer the questions of the types of brokers and the logic that it will be more useful when it's sent to the wish notes. In this way, I think I will present more clear information. Yes, video is very detailed game i know my dear friend and you may be confused however when you understand the logic of the game mechanics you can answer your questions yourself it would definitely not be a good start to separate the workers by node names by heart when you open the world map in video you will see the node connection points of the regions In some of these spots you can see some details that can be grown or mined in the area when you move the mouse over the nodes you can see if there is anything growing in that node if you want to send workers there it must be connected to the city you want to send. You provide this connection with your contribution points. As you can see on the screen, I can send the worker to a node with this way. You will get the contribution points as you by the completing the in-game quests. Also, you can cook to increase your contribution points and you can earn contribution points by exchanging which delicacy item which is the byproduct. Also, there are another byproduct items in different life skills, but the most common way is cooking. I'm not going to give more information about contribution points at this time because that is another long topic. I will prepare a guide about how you can increase your contribution points efficiently. So we learn how to send workers to the node. So where do we get these workers? You can buy workers from work supervisor in the cities. You can use the search button at top right to go to the NPC in your city. It will direct you to the nearest supervisor. The NPC will give you the option to search manually or search automatically. Every time you search for workers, you consume 5 energy. When you find the type of worker you want, you can hire the worker. In automatic search function, another name is continuous search function, you can set the automatic stop limit when it reaches the worker type. An example on the screen right now, I set it on professional and it search for the professional workers. When the system brings us professional workers, it stops. So we talked about nodes and how we can find workers. What type of workers are these? Which node and how can I send them? Which worker is more efficient at what type of node? Let's talk about worker types. There are three different types of worker groups in game. Worker names may vary depending on the cities they are in. However, knowing the logic of three groups will be enough for you. As you can see on the screen in the image, the first group is the fast worker group. Goblin, Papu, Dwarf and Dokebi workers. Papu is belong to Kamasilia region, Dwarf is belong to Odilita region, and Dokebi is belong to Land of the Morning Light region. Goblin is belong to the Remain region of the game. The second group is Luck Dependent group. Dozwe is belong to Land of the Morning Light, Human worker is belong to the Remain part of the game. But in Kamasilia region, there is no Luck Dependent worker. The third group is Heavy but Strong workers. There are, th there are three of them. Giant, Padus, and Shellfolk. Padus belong to Camasilia, Shellfolk belong to Land of the Morning Light. Giant is a general strong worker. By the way, I don't have any Fadus worker in my workers, so I couldn't get a sample of Fadus worker. But don't worry, their stats are same like Giant and Shellfolk. So what are the differences between these three groups? The first group is the fast group, is generally they finish their job fast. They are the fastest workers. The luck dependent groups, they brings rarest. The third groups, the third group is they are heavy but they are strong. The third group is similar to the first group. They work slow but they bring 60% more products. So let me show in game and you will understand better which type of node, which type of node, which type of worker. Let's start with goblin type of workers, I mean fast workers. For example, fast type of workers, I can send them single target things. For example, this one. I can get potato from this node. Let's try. Invest contribution point. Now I got this node. Invest contribution point. I can send my goblin into this node. It will help me to get potato as fast as possible. The fastest way is this goblin work. The another option, if the node is very close to city. I mean, we talked about the third type of workers, isn't it? The heavy and strong workers. You can send also giant type of workers because you don't have distance issue. And thanks to this short distance, your giant 
giant worker will benefit this potato node like goblin worker. Goblin bring you potato faster than normal, but giant maybe it will spend 60% more time than goblin worker, but it, but he will bring you 60% more potato. So the idea of first group and the third group, I mean fast group and the heavy group is working like that. Let me give another example from this node in the land of the morning light Napsa Bayot country these nodes directly in this city these nodes are the closest nodes in the game for example you can send whatever you want here maybe Dokebi worker here for example Dokebi is the fast one remember it or you can send shell folk worker we already talked that shell folk workers are giant type i mean heavy type of worker strong worker if the distance that much close you can use your giants because they perform slightly better than goblin. How can I find which type of node I can send goblin over this giant type, this heavy type of worker? Let's take a look. For example, on this node, tiger flower. I'm getting tiger flower, for example, from this node. If you send strong worker into this node, you will have a problem about distance. It takes long time to get all of those tiger flower. Rule is simple. If you only focus the main material, if there is no distance problem, Fast worker and heavy type of worker, best option. If there is distance problem, fast type of worker is best option. Let's talk about second type of workers, I mean luck dependent. We name them human and dolce. Human in mainland, except Camasilvia region. Dolce in this new region. Let me give an example. For example, in this golden peak cave, as you can see on this node, they are extremely rare. Crystal of Darkness, Crystal of Bitterness, Mysterious Powder. Trace of Savagery is probably the main item of this node. You have to send on this node Dolce Worker to benefit that increased luck ability. 24.81 or luck ability, which is the main ability of these type of workers, the second type of. Another example for BMB Volley, Excavation Node. Again, very rare items. Again, a Dolce here. On the other hand, for example, there is a lumbering node. As you can see, there is three different type of material you can get from this node. The maple timber is the raw material of this node, but maple sap and all tree bark, these two materials are luck dependent materials. So on this node, Dolce is way too better than the other ones. You can get this maple timber every cycle, for example, 40, maybe 50. But maple sap and old tree bark, three, four, maybe five for every cycle. If you want to increase that and if you want to increase the chance of getting the rarest one, you have to send those sweat type, luck type of luck dependent workers. Just an extra special information. On Dokebe Forest, you cannot send in this forest Dolce or Shell Folk workers. In Dokebe Forest, you can only send Dokebe workers. I don't know why, it's probably a lower dependent thing. I'm sorry, these are luck dependent nodes, but you have to send fast type of workers. Okay, I hope the examples I gave in a short and a simple way will be useful for you. Well, when we look for these workers, I know it is very difficult to find artisan workers at supervisor. How do we make these workers artisan? Thanks to the promotion system, you can send them to promotion tests every 10 levels. By the way, until level 30, they can level up pretty fast, but after 30, until they reach the 40. When they reach 40 level, they are getting every type of worker getting special skill. The skill, as you can see on the screen, you will be able to choose where to bring the materials. Even if your worker works at Velia, if you want to bring your, for example, potato, you can choose it on Hadelstee. When the worker finish the job, it will bring potato to the Hadelstee and there is no time gated thing or something. Your potato directly sends to the Hadelstee. Isn't it great? But reaching to level 40 is kind of hard. So even if you have skilled goblin, you can send it to promotion test when it reaches level 10, 20 or 30, it depends to you. You will have three rights to send it to promotion test. If your skilled worker success with the test, you will have one level profession. Let's say that you send professional, you will have one level artisan, same type of worker. An example for that promotion test, I put my professional dokebi into promotion test. You need to wait 8 hours until to complete. I succeeded and I got my artisan worker. You can learn whether it is successful or fail from your in-game mail. So generally people asking me, which node brings me best silver per hour? Unfortunately, it is very very difficult question. Because there is not a single server in BDO 
and the market pricing system of each server is changing every minute. Even for one server, it is not consistent and saying something about all around the world on different servers, it is almost impossible for me. I can roughly say that trace nodes are generally good for alchemy, mine nodes and the secondary items generally good for alchemy, lumbering nodes generally good for alchemy, and there are also some there are also some weeds, potato, these type of nodes good for cooking. You can send them if you want. Also, there are also in nearby the Velia, you can send your human type of workers to the chicken meat and egg node. They are generally valuable and always have value. In addition, with the new region, Land of the Morning Light, the importance of the nodes has increased considerably. In that region, there are very valuable raw crystal materials that rarely comes out from the node. These raw crystals can usually be obtained 2-3 times a month, but it is RNG, maybe you can have more, maybe you can less. In addition to all this, as I said at the beginning of the video, I will start working on the videos that I will that I will examine the all regions one by one. For example, Calfion region, for example, Camasilvia, which nodes are better, which nodes are worst, which one good, and etc. But I hope this video helped you to understand the basic of the workers. I need to make one final addition. While your workers are working, they can return with different packages according to their node types. You can get different type of items when you open these packages. Actually, there is a lot more to talk about them, but I don't want to prolong the video any longer. It is already too long for beginner or returning players. I think I can't wait the basics of the worker empire that they changed. If there is something I forget or you want to add, please do not hesitate to mention it in the comment section. You can find this and hundreds of video videos on the channel. It is very easy to thank these contents I have prepared for you. I would be very very happy if you stop the video right now, subscribe to the channel and like the video. And also, if you share it in your Discord, I would be appreciated. This is a free process for you, but it means a lot to me. I hope you guys like my content. Do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game.